We made it to our fifth stop in Vietnam. It's a small town called Phong Nha and it's literally a one street town. A lot of people come here pretty much for one reason only and that is to do some caving. It has some of the largest caves in the entire world. So for day one, we're gonna check out a couple caves. Let's go. A one minute scooter ride from our homestay. We're at our first stop. The river has this cool, like greenish blue hue to it that I can't wait to show you guys. But we're at the ticket office now to get our tickets for the first cave that we're gonna check out. The concept of getting a boat here for Phung Na Cave is a little bit confusing. You have to, uh, it's a, the boat seat's 12. So if you show it by yourself, you pay for the entire boat which initially we did yeah we showed up and we're like oh 550 for a boat it's a bit pricey but then other people started showing up so there's 11 of us so we divided that 550 price by 11 so plus 50 plus 150 for the, for cave. the cave so to get 200 a person get on your boat <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, we just got off our boat here. This place is gorgeous and it's freaking massive. Oh, I'm just taking so many photos. She just loves it here. We have 30 minutes to explore the interior of the cave here before we walk back outside and meet our boat. The rock formations are super cool. The stalagmites and stalactites are like the, probably the biggest I've ever seen in my life. And the really cool thing that I thought was like special to us, when you get into the cave, they turn the engine off. So like you can hear, it's not that loud, even though there's people coming in and out, like it's pretty quiet. And what they do is they have these big paddles and they just row the boat the whole way without turning the engine off until they're outside of the cave, which I think is super cool. And the other thing that I thought was really, really cool was they have these like metal tin roofs and it, it, they, they really block the view. And when you got in the cave, they're like strapped down on some wire and they just took them off and stacked them up in the back. So that way you have like a full panoramic view as you're just navigating inside the cave. So with that stuff said, I think even though you can tell this is like the most touristy cave, it is still worth checking out because it's just so cool to go by boat, honestly. And so I'm gonna take some photos and then meet our boat on the way out. These rock formations, look at this stuff. So cool. The setup that they did with the boat ride and then they drop you off and you can walk it is, I think is awesome. Awesome tour. Look at that. Wow. What? Oh, bag Wow. That's the end of Phong Nyong Cave? Phong Nha. Phong Nha. That's the end of Phong Nha. That is a wrap for fun. Yeah, I've never been to Phong Nha. Yeah. 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 Ye
All right, we're here at Dark Cave, checking in. We have to join a group so we don't wait as long. And we did the full package, which includes uh, a little cave expedition, zip lining, and some kayaking at the end. Mm -hmm. Bathing suits only and no shoes allowed. So we got our lockers here, putting all our camera stuff away because uh, they just don't allow it. And we're just taking one thing, and that is the GoPro. So. And a ticket. <laughs> and the tickets. Just like that, we're ready. All right. I feel <laughs> super cool. So Not only cool. that, it's like so fast. Like, Every, just like I know. It, it's like, it's like, is this artist actually on? I right? know. <laughs> Hello. One, one, one by one. Oh, one by one. Yeah. Okay. This is an interesting concept. You gotta hold these little ropes. Sit down. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo! I got hit by the branches! Good thing I've ziplined before, or else I'd have just smoked my feet on this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Very low entry. That's what I was saying. I wasn't expecting to graze my cheeks on there. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Not yours is not turning on. Oh, there it goes. Time to head into the darkness. Spooky. <laughs> Sand. So we got fish and oyster fossils from millions of years ago in the rocks there. Now it's getting dark. Uh, this one I, I saw on a lake two times. Oh. Just little feet. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh. There goes my life jacket. <laughs> we're navigating through the cave right now and we're in this super muddy section and it's at that point where you just gotta embrace it. You're gonna be all full of mud. This one's creative clay right there. Ooh, sexy, take it off. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Just go in. Yeah, there you go. I made you some. Is that a taco? Or? All past door. All past door taco. Nice. <laughs> Time to rinse off the mud. Check out. Yay. So now we have zip lined into the cave, walked through the cave, which is a mud bath, and now we're kayaking out. And it's raining and it's so pretty. I actually love that it's raining. I love it's it. It feels pace. so cool. Yeah. It's beautiful. The thing about like oh my God. this area that I want to say is like the guides and stuff are a bit touristy. Like you have to follow a guide and you don't get real adventure. But the caves and the nature surrounding the tourism part is just so beautiful you don't really even care. Yeah. Like this is right now, this is amazing. I love this. Right? This is so cool. <laughs> how cool is this? So that's how you get into the cave, guys. That's what yeah. we did. Woo! <laughs> it's so beautifully blue. I mean...
made it to the botanical gardens. It's raining really, really hard. <laughs> we're soaked. <laughs> we're soaked. Even with our rain gear on, like, we're still pretty wet. But we navigated through the mountain pass. Not too bad, right? No, it wasn't too bad. Not too bad. We're going to try to wait out the rain a little bit. Right now, we're just at the entrance. Hopefully, the rain light lightens up a bit. If it does, we'll check it out. If it stays heavy pouring like this, we might skip it because I don't know. I don't know how enjoyable that would be, but we'll see. It's been on and off all day, so maybe we'll get lucky. Step one, cross a makeshift bamboo bridge. <laughs> it's almost easier just to cross the water. I mean, it's just a little creek. All right, we decided to do the botanical gardens, which essentially is a waterfall. She said 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. It is still raining pretty good. So we're gonna try to make light work of it. Uh, hurry up and get there, hang out for a bit. <laughs> if there's a lot of these, we're not gonna be able to hurry up. There's three points that you can take. This is like straight to the waterfall, it's the fastest one. Then there's one that goes to like a watering hole and the waterfall, and then there's like a really long loop but since it's raining we're just gonna straight there go straight to the waterfall I don't know how you, know how you spotted that Ooh. it's like a chameleon it is like a chameleon it runs weird it ru yes it's not a ah. lizard we're off the paved trail now and we're out here hiking in the jungle lots of rocks you gotta watch your footing the rocky slippery nest guys yeah we have to go all the way down and that's I think that's why she said it was slippery it's oh. probably all this part hopefully that's not me that would suck this is a little bit more involved than I thought it was gonna be the caves have been too easy we've gotten soft you got a ladder there? <laughs> I see water. <laughs> Imagine. I literally thought we were just gonna like walk up to a platform and see a waterfall. Down there is a little watering hole yeah. to hang out and swim if you want. We saw some people doing that. Up here, from what I can tell, it just keeps going back up. <laughs> this is it. Oh, all right. So definitely not a botanical garden, as Alejandro was saying. Uh, you're doing a lot of rock climbing and mountaineering to get to this viewpoint right here. Some of it could be quite dangerous because the rocks are pretty slippery, so you really can't go that fast. They do have a rope where they put at different spots, and they have different spikes on the ground to kind of help grip you on the rocks, but if you're not paying attention, you could slip and fall and hurt yourself pretty darn bad. The waterfall's not big. But it does have like different layers, which makes it quite cool. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be worth it, but we had to check it out since we were already in the area. I don't know, what do you guys think? We're at the tippity top now. And we saw this bridge crossing behind us here. And we thought it was just for a little creek cross, so we didn't even bother looking at it. We kept following the signs to go all the way down, so... We went all the way down, and then worked our way up through the waterfall through all the rocks and stuff. But yeah, the view, actually not of the waterfalls, but of the landscape in the background with the clouds, looks pretty cool, check it out. We're done with the Botanical Garden. We're not gonna go back down. We're gonna continue this way, head back to the parking lot, and then continue our drive back into town to get something to eat because we are starving. That's good. It was very tender. Mm -hmm.
All right, we've been enjoying an awesome scooter ride as we're headed to Paradise Cave. We got about, I don't know, probably three kilometers left before we reach the, the entrance. But man, this is an amazing scooter ride. The limestone cliffs are super tall and there's so much green lushness all around us. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. We're also practicing on a semi-automatic scooter for the first time, second time. So yeah, it's been fun. Three more kilometers. Let's go. All right, we're walking our way to Paradise Cave. It's about a kilometer from the ticket booth. Hello. And uh, after that, it's 500 steps to the entrance of it. So, I think. I'm pretty sure. We're about to find I, out. I was we're still working our way up. Definitely got our heart rate up right now. Bloody mess. <laughs> you can do the steps or the switchback. We did the switchback because that's where the sign directed us. But we made it. Paradise. bottom of the steps here um, it's a lot more massive I think that's gonna be the theme like I can't really picture it in my head how gigantic these caves are so I'm walking down the steps and I'm like oh it's a giant crater and then you just keep going down and it just opens up into like a auditorium space of just beautiful rock formations and all kinds of other stuff like that this one's a little different than the, the boat tour one there's a little less color it's more kind of uniform in the sandy kind of beige color, right? Mm -hmm. More like sandstone. Yeah, a lot a lot more sandstony, not so many colors. What? Beautiful. It's beautiful. I am a sweaty mess. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I think it's the wrong shirt. I think my shirt's too thick. But I am just sweating profusely down here. Even my glasses <laughs> are fogging up. <laughs> Paradise Cave. It's massive and it's so gorgeous and beautiful. beautiful. It's a half kilometer in. I think it's at a, kilo a whole kilometer. You have this nice walkway as you go through and if you stay really really quiet you can hear the dripping of water forming the stalagmites or stalactites. The formations are just freaking massive and we're here right before closing so they close at four which is we got here about three. We started exploring yeah. at three. About three yeah. So I don't know, maybe that's the perfect time because there's like almost nobody here. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> you almost feel like you need to whisper, yeah. even though we're by ourselves. Yeah. It's just like everything echoes. We're going to work our way back now, but it's super peaceful. I think we're going to try to walk it a little bit quieter Yeah. and just really and soak in all, all the noises. The... But yeah, I don't think the camera can capture the no, magnitude like, of it. The massiveness, it's impossible. Even I'm like trying to take pictures, I just, I can't seem it's to get it right. It's just so hard, but we tried our best. But it's great. See just you guys. take our word. <laughs> <laughs> take our word for it. See you guys on the... Outside. Yeah, outside world. <laughs> it is our last day in Fongna, and we actually have a night bus tonight to take us to the next town from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. So we had to check out of our hotel today and all hundred thought of a great idea. She was like, why not go on a 12 hour hike today, burn the day out and then sleep on the bus. We're doing a one day tour to the Toulon cave and it's a giant cave system, about an hour drive outside of the main town that we were staying at. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to hike, explore some of the local area, do some river crossings, and then eventually get to the cave and uh, do some swimming in the cave and then hike back. So it's going to be all day. We started at 7.30 a.m. and we'll be back in town at 7 p.m. So let's see how it goes. The road and we will hike uh, to the first cave today, or rock cave. This road is very easy walking. Uh, and then up to the ladder, 15 meters, and then go to out. So we just finished our briefing. They provide kind of, this is not a dry bag, but inside is a container for electronics and things you don't want to get wet because we are going to get wet on this trip. But this is a pseudo dry bag. See, there's holes in the bottom. So anything valuable won't go. But they want us to carry these bags and not our own. So we're going to pack this one up. So, first, first let's see if the camera... We, uh... Oh, nice. Um, extra clothes for after we're done with swimming. We got all our stuff stowed away and our backpacks packed up, so we're about to hit the trail. Uh, GoPro. GoPro's shot. I don't know. It's turning on. Something up with it. It's turning on and off, on and off. So no GoPro and no drone as well. They prohibit drone flights around here, which kind of sucks, but I guess we're really close to a military base. And so that's a big no-no, drone flights around a military base in Vietnam. We're still working our way. In total today, we're gonna visit two caves. The first one, we're just gonna walk through it. It's called Rat Cave. Um, and the second one, Tom Cave, mm -hmm. is uh, a swim through one. So you're going to swim through it and then we're going to have lunch and then they boat you back um, and then you go through it on the dry side. So everything's going to get wet. There are leeches in the water so they recommend keeping the pants Fun. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they recommend keeping the pants on and a long sleeve shirt for that reason. So far, we're just working our way through farmland. Very easy, very flat. And we did learn a couple things on the ride over. Yeah. Why there's, they've discovered 48% of this area, this national park, it's the largest in Vietnam. And there's over 400 caves here in this region. And the reason is there's tons of limestone mountains, there's tons of rain, and there's flooding that breaks down the limestone too, so. Yeah, I'm learning perfect stuff. Perfect storm. <laughs> the perfect storm for, for amazing <laughs> epic caves. So good. That was crazy, huh? Yeah. Especially with the burnt in the front. Did he fought a lizard or something? I have no idea. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> we're getting our lights set up. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're about to enter Rat Cave. This is also the area that they filmed Kong, the movie, right? Yes, sir. Did he come out of the cave? Today we are going to look for the Kong. We're looking for Kong today. Kong over there should be in the cave. <laughs> Sat in the please. <laughs> Time to get her feet wet. I feel like I look really cool right you now. You do look really cool. With the gloves on, I'm ready for adventure. <laughs> We're at the entrance of the cave now. We got a brief history lesson on how caves are formed and stuff like that, which is pretty informative. He said the cave is about two to three million years old.
Solid. Is it touchy? Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's really muddy and it's really hard to not fall on your ass right now. <laughs> we made it to the end. Let's go check it out. Finally. We made it to the end of the line here. So this is the other passage if you're gonna do multiple days. But since we're only doing one day, we're gonna head back and we're doing a higher passage on the way back. So that supposedly gets more narrow, so we'll see. Ooh, narrow. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. All right, time to leave Rat's Cave. Rat Cave. Rat. That's a weird name. Okay. There used to be rats in there apparently. Oh yeah. See, I'm full of mud. I'm, <laughs> I'm so muddy. <laughs> You're shedding mud. Right everywhere. <laughs> Is this the little mountain they were saying? It's a um, baby hill. The baby hill. We made it past the baby hill. Now we're on the flat part here, headed our way to the main part of the, the cave, the swimming portion. And I gotta say, I wasn't really looking forward to swimming earlier, but I definitely am now. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Can I take double? All right, so we got our life jackets on and we have to also <laughs> carry our... We have to also carry our bags above our life jackets, which is a bit weird. There you go. Tongue. Seems like a bit of overkill. Totally <laughs> comfortable. Our bag here that's going to keep us floating, plus the light jacket, plus the good, the good grab, and the blue grab. <laughs> it's a bit much. Almost at the end here, we can see the opening now. Yeah. That was beautiful, right? So pretty. The water feels so good. It feels so good. There's bats and a nice, really good moving water, so it's yeah. not smelly or anything like that. It's so cool. It's so cool. Here we are at the end, <laughs> and it's time for love. <laughs> <laughs> I have my shirt drying by the fire over there where everyone's hanging out. You know, I'm just wringing out her socks here. Just get a little drier for the trek back. We're not going to get too wet till the end, so we're taking a boat back to the cave, so we'll be dry for that part. And we just have one river crossing towards the end, which is knee deep, so um, just our shoes and socks will get wet again. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit uncomfortable. Mostly the, the shoe part, not so much the pants and the shirt. Ready for lunch? I am. We didn't have much for uh, breakfast, huh? No. And I really need coffee and, and I'm drinking tea. <laughs> we have the sauce here. And then you are going to use your hand. And you can take one or two layers. I think two layers is safer. To put on here, on the plate. And then you take little of everything. The cheese cucumber, tomato, and then pork or egg is up to you, that's your choice. And then you grow like this. Grow like a spring roll. And then you dip into the green sauce. 
or fish sauce. Okay. And then enjoy. How was the food? Yeah? yeah. It's, it's, it's probably our best meal in <laughs> Hong Na. Yeah. We ate a lot. Made some banh mi and we used some rice paper also. And yeah, we just grubbed. I did, I did, I was really hungry. I feel like I haven't eaten in like five days. Time for the latter portion. Whoa. It's pretty, huh? King Kong. Uh, that's pretty dope. Uh, 300 Yeah. Wow. Uh, Basically saving us money. Yeah, they said 10% off yeah. if we come back, which we do want to do the world's largest one, so that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, $600. Thank you very much for joining us. The honor is mine. And first place goes to <laughs> yes. Matthew. 10% discount. <laughs>